Hello, welcome to Godfather Barbecue in Italian. It's Sunday afternoon, and um, I've got, well, we've got a treat in store for the kids. Um, we're going to grill some Lobel's filet mignons. Now, let me talk just for a minute about Lobel's, okay? The ultimate meat purveyors on the East Coast. They are in New York and Manhattan on the Upper, upper East Side on uh, Madison Ave. And um, we typically do this a few times a year. And we also get our like holiday roasts and things there because um, they only deal in prime meat, or at least that's the only thing we deal with them with. And when we say prime with Lobel's, like if prime had a grading system starting at prime, meaning like select choice and prime, they would be prime prime. If, if that, if you can understand what I'm trying to tell you, insanely good. For that reason, this is a real simple recipe, and this was a last-minute shoot. I was, I was just gonna, we were just gonna have lunch, surprise the boys. Um, but I'm like, why not throw it on film and bring you folks into our home for a quick meal? So what we've got is um, they sell these in six packs. They're five ounce fillets, perfect for lunch. Okay, um, they're individually packeted. We had them happen to have them in the freezer. We've got a bunch more down there. Um, but this is a perfect amount for my wife and I and the kids that are here currently. Cooking them is simple. Now, we don't use anything but salt pepper on these because the meat is that good. Even though they're tenderloins or filet, which is another tenderloins, another uh, word for filets. They're so good. And I get it. A lot of filets and tenderloins can be bland. They're known just to, for the main aspect of being tender. Um, but these give you both. I mean, they give you that beef flavor. So you really, what I'm trying to go with this is you don't need anything else. If you're not using Lobel's, which I understand you're probably not, maybe you will after this point at some or to treat yourself because it's really a treat. When you see the price, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you go to their website. Um, but if you did want something real quick uh, to go with it, um, to help with the, a regular tenderloin or filet mignon, you can make a quick um, steak butter. And don't please don't judge and, and chirp in on this. This is just a quick garlic butter if you want. Take some uh, butter room temperature, a couple of sticks, a couple of tablespoons of garlic powder, um, about a teaspoon of salt. And use salted butter from the beginning, but you know half a teaspoon salt to your liking, pepper couple of taste, uh, tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce and some chopped flat um, or Italian parsley, a couple of tablespoons of that. Room temperature, mix it up. You can either serve it like that, scoop it on. I like to do it that way instead of refrigerating it because I like to, I'd, I'd rather it warm when it goes on my steak as it's resting. You put it on at the end, obviously. That's if you wanted something to go with this. It's not enough to make a video on, so if, if you didn't get that or you have questions about that part of it, just hit me up in the comments. All right, so we're going to use just a binder of um, extra virgin olive oil, real light binder, just so the salt and pepper will stick to it. We're going to be doing this on our Weber Genesis today. It's just quick and easy gas grill. I've got some grill grates to help with the searing. And we're going to go hot and fast on this one. We're going to be cooking it north of 500 degrees. 5 to 550 is about as high as that beast will go. So um, we're going to do it that way too because... Um, this is so good, this particular type of uh, filet being the low bells. Even like on a smoker or uh, a green egg, I feel is that, you know, that charcoal or the wood actually kind of takes from the flavor of this beef. If you're spending all this money on beef, eat beef, okay? So we'll uh, see when it's time to season these up. All right, so I've taken these out of the package, um, dried them off really good, paper towel. I um, want them dry so I can get as much sear and um, that so the salt and pepper will stick as well and the oil won't mix with the water that was or the lick packing liquid that was in there. Okay, so real simple. Just take your olive oil. Get all, all around. You don't need a lot. The less the better actually. Again, I want to maintain as much of this beef flavor as I can. So, like, even the the olive oil on my glove 
will, would, would actually do a dry one. So I'm going to come first with the pepper. Don't ask me why. I just always do pepper first. Salt. And I want to I wanna hit these generously, okay? Don't be afraid. It's a thick cut of meat. These are, give or take, about a, about a two-inch cut. Okay, I'm going to give that a pat in. Flip them. These are so small in diameter, I'm not going to do the sides. Did I flip that one already? No. Uh, just the uh, tops and bottoms. They're beautiful. Look at the color. Better be. And again, salt. Liberally. Okay. Give that a pat in. Now I'm going to let these just hang out um, for a little bit while the grill comes up to temp, and we'll see you at the grill. All right, so we're at the grill. We're running uh, right at about 550, 540, which is perfect. Anything 500 or above is, is good. I'm just looking to get a good sear on these. Um, I've got the grill grates on here. You don't need them. You can use your regular grates as well. I'm anticipating these to be about uh, 8 to 10 minutes, so I'm going to start at 4 minutes a side. And what we're going to do is 2 minutes, come back, rotate them 45 degrees so I can get the good cross grill marks on them. They'll look pretty and um, cook even more evenly as well. All right, so let's take a look at how this is going to go. I'm going to help those along when I put them on the grill, give them a pat down. Looking for like medium rare to medium end result. So I'm going to pull them around, uh, look for about 125, 130 in that range. Okay, we'll see you in two minutes. All right, we're back. Two minutes. I'm going to give them a 90 degree flip. Sorry, 45 degrees. All right, we'll see you another two. All right, we're back two minutes later. Time to flip. See what we got. Oh, yeah, look at those. Come on, man. Come on, man. All right, two minutes. We'll see you then. All right, two minutes. Time to rotate. Want a little press? Don't squeeze all the juice out. All right, we'll see you in two minutes. We'll check the. All right, so these are te these are beautiful. Temping right at one twenty six. I'm gonna get them off. Look at those! Wow. These were done just a hair before eight minutes. Shut the grill down. We're going to let these rest for at least 10 minutes, if not 15. We'll see when we cut one up. All right, you can tell uh, steaks have been cooked. A couple of guests here. What do you guys think? We'll try some little bells? Wow. Luckiest dogs in the world. All right, folks, so we're back. Been resting about 15 minutes or so. I'm going to just cut into one of them so you can see what we got. Um, wow. I mean, that's a thing of beauty. Wish you could smell it. We've got to figure that part out. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I know we're going to. And um, if you like this stuff, please like, subscribe, and share. Till the next time, we'll see you then.